e-learning studio division as equal distribution hello children welcome back in today's video we will learn a new concept which is division as equal distribution now look carefully here is a boy arush he has 12 toffees he wants to distribute them equally among four of his friends so he distributes toffees equally each friend get three toffees this is called equal distribution we call it division we write it as 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 this sign stands for division so here 12 is the dividend number that gets divided 4 is the divisor number that divides 3 is the quotient answer in division remember dividend is always greater than the divisor and the quotient let us understand with the help of other example 18 divided by 6 means 18 shared into 6 equal groups which would be 3 in a division the first number is called the dividend the second number is called the divisor and the answer is called the quotient so in this example here 18 is the dividend 6 is the divisor and 3 is the quotient hope this is clear to you all thank you and happy learning one step division hello children welcome back in today's video we will learn a new concept which is one step division let us divide 30 by 6 first put 30 in the dividend position and 6 in the divisor position how many times 6 goes into 30 6 fives are 30 children now write 5 in the ones place of the quotient now write the product of the divisor 6 and the quotient 5 under the dividend which is 30 subtract 30 from 30 to get 0 so 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5 let us understand with the help of another example let us divide 45 by 5 first put 45 in the dividend position and 5 in the divisor position how many times 5 goes into 45 yes 5 nines are 45 now write 9 in the ones place of the quotient and write the product of the divisor 5 and the quotient 9 under the dividend which is 45 subtract 45 from 45 to get 0 so 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9 hope this clear to all thank you and happy learning properties of division hello children welcome back in today's video we will learn a new concept which is properties of division let us know about first property children when we divide a number by 1 the quotient is the number itself let us understand with the help of some examples 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8 425 divided by 1 is equal to 425 372 divided by 1 is equals to 372 children in our next property when we divide 0 by a number 
except zero. The quotient is zero. Let us understand with the help of some examples. Zero divided by five is equal to zero. Zero divided by one hundred thirty is equal to zero. Zero divided by four hundred seventy is equal to zero. In our next property. When we divide a number by itself, the quotient is one. Let us understand with the help of some examples. Eight divided by eight is equals to one. Twenty-seven divided by twenty-seven is equals to one. One hundred forty-five divided by one hundred forty-five. Is equals to one. Children, we cannot change the order of the dividend and divisor in division. Let us understand with the help of some examples. Eighteen divided by two is equals to nine, but two divided by eighteen is not possible. Children. Division by zero is not possible. Let us understand with the help of some examples. Thirty-five divided by zero is equal to not possible. Sixty-five divided by zero is equal to not possible. Twenty-nine divided by zero is equal to not possible. Remember, the divisor. Can never be zero. Hope this is clear to all. Thank you and happy learning. Dividing two digit numbers. Hello, children. Welcome back. In today's video, we will learn a new concept, which is dividing two digit numbers. Let us divide eighty-two by five. Here, eight. Is greater than five. Five goes into eight in one time. On dividing eight by five, we get one as the quotient. Write one as the first digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product five ones are five below eight and subtract to get three. Bring down. To the next digit of the dividend, and write on the right side of the remainder. So we have thirty-two as the new dividend. Five goes into thirty-two six times. Write six as the second digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product five six are thirty below thirty-two, and subtract. To get two, now we cannot divide further. Eighty-two divided by five is sixteen, and remainder two. Remember, the remainder is always less than the divisor. Let us understand with the help of another examples. Let us divide seventy-six by four. Here, seven is greater than four. Four goes into seven in one time. By dividing seven by four, we get one as the quotient. Write one as the first digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product four ones are four below seven and subtract to get three. Bring down to the next digit of the dividend and write on the right side. Of the remainder, so we have thirty-six as the new dividend. Four goes into thirty-six nine times. Write nine as the second digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product four nines are thirty-six below thirty-six and subtract to get zero. Seventy-six divided by four is nineteen. And remainder zero. Hope this is clear to all. Thank you 
and happy learning. Dividing three digits numbers. Hello children. Welcome back in today's video. We will learn a new concept which is dividing three digit numbers. Let us divide 535 by 5. Take the first digit of the dividend from the left and check if it is greater than or equal to the divisor. Here 5 is equal to 5. 5 goes into 5 one time. Write 1 as the first digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product 5 ones are 5 below 5 and subtract to get 0. Bring down the next digit of the dividend and write on the right side of the remainder. So, the new dividend is 3. But 5 is greater than 3. Put a 0 as the next digit of the quotient and bring down the next digit of the dividend. Write on the right side of the remainder. So, the new dividend is 35. 5 goes into 35 7 times. Now write 7 as the new digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product 5, 7 are 35 below 35 and subtract to get 0. So, 535 divided by 5 is equals to 107. Let us understand with the help of other examples. Let us divide 429 by 3. Take the first digit of the dividend from the left and check if it is greater than or equal to the divisor. Here 4 is greater than 3. 3 goes into 4 one time. Write 1 as the first digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product 3 ones are 3 below 4 and subtract to get 1. Bring down the next digit of the dividend and write on the right side of the remainder. So, the new dividend is 12. 3 goes into 12 4 times. Now write 4 as the next digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product 3 and 4 are 12 below 12 and subtract to get 0. Bring down the next digit of the dividend and write on the right side of the remainder. So, the new dividend is 9. 3 goes into 9 3 times. Now write 3 as the next digit of the quotient on the top. Write the product 3 and 3 are 9 below 9 and subtract to get 0. So, 429 divided by 3 is equals to 143. Hope this is clear to all. Thank you and happy learning.